Hello and welcome. In this video, I am going to explain how we can create birthday or anniversary calendars and, and to illustrate how this template could be used to create calendars, not just for one year, it could be used every year to create these types of calendars. So it could be used for 2016 and a year from now you can come in and create 2017 calendar. So it's an any year calendar. So let's take a look at how we can create such a birthday calendar very, very quickly. So now I have the template open. So by default, this is what you will get. And we're going to create an event type called birthdays. And then we can now choose a color. So let's say I choose green and you can also create another one called anniversaries and you can give a different color to this. So let's say I give lavender. Okay, so we have two colors, two types of events. Now let's go to the events sheet, which is where we're gonna create the event. So let's say we're gonna create uh, an event called um, Father's Birthday and this is the first event and we want to give this the color of the birthday event type and then the event start date. So this is where you could enter the actual birthday of uh, a person. So for example, I could say this is going to be October 2nd, 1955, for example. And then the end date is the date in the future. So you usually you'd want to put something in the future so that you don't have to come and change every time. So for example, I'm going to put October 2nd, 2050, 50. So the frequency type of this, so this is where you have to be very careful. We want this to happen every year, in other words, every 12 months. So we will choose monthly, and then in the end column, we're going to choose 12. So that means it is going to generate an event every 12 months. Okay. So the last thing we need to do here is to make sure that all the weekdays are allowed because I want that birthday to be highlighted regardless of whether it's a weekend or whatever day of the week it is. So I select all of these, type one, press control, enter. Now it puts one everywhere and you could definitely type one, 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 one separately as well. So now we have created this event. Um, let's go and check the calendar, yearly calendar. Now we see that October 2nd, 2016 is colored with green. That's the birthday. Great. Now let's go and take a look at the next event. So let's say we create um, father's um, wedding anniversary. So this one, we're going to give a different event type called anniversaries. And then let's say this happens to be December 11th, you know, 19... 78 and then we can use a similar future end date so i'm going to put 12 11 2050 and the same approach of choosing monthly and then selecting one and then put 12 in the end okay there you go so now we have created another event with an event different event type let's go to the yearly you will see that the anniversary is highlighted in lavender color so this is great so now we have created two events which show up on the calendar now this is the 2016 calendar so how we would reuse the same template to get 2017 is all you have to come here all you have to do is to come here put 2017 as your calendar year now, when we go and see the yearly calendar, everything is for 2017, but your events are still on December 11th and October 2nd. So everything remains the same. So you didn't have to actually do anything except come over here and then type the new calendar year. So that's how easy it is for you to create your calendars every year using the same Excel template without having to re-enter everything or without having to repurchase something to create a calendar for next year. So this is an all-purpose calendar, any year calendar that you can reuse easily. And also the data entry has been made simpler so that you don't have to re-enter the date every time. And so the key here is that we entered a date that is in the future, that is 2050. So if I go here and type in 2050, I would still get a calendar for 2050 with those two dates highlighted. So that's how 
effective and functional the calendar is. So now, if you have any questions about creating such a calendar or any question, any other questions about this template, please feel free to reach out to me, leave them in the comments, and I will definitely get back to you. Thank you very much for watching the video.